Be sure to turn off your cabinet and unplug the unit before replacing the cooling fan. Remove the three screws on the left side. Three screws on the right side. And then remove the exterior top. After taking off the top, remove the exterior side of the cooling fan that you wish to replace. To do so, remove the screws on the right, screws on the left, and the bottom screw located in the middle. Be sure to grip the inside panel and use caution while removing the side. Using a 3 8 inch nut driver, loosen the inside nut at the top. Once it feels loose, Use both hands to remove the nut and screw that is holding the cooling fan plate to the unit. After you have removed the screw, unplug the cooling fan from the unit so you have easier access to the fan itself. Remove both the screws and the nuts from the cooling fan and the plate. Be sure to secure the plate and hold firm while removing them both. Make sure to install the fan where the label is facing in and the motor will be pulling in air. The cover plate should be guiding the air towards the electronics. This is done so the motor can cool down the electronics of the unit while in production. Install the new motor with the two screws on the opposite side of each other. Insert each screw in the nut on the outer side with the motor and plate in between. Secure the cover plate with the fan motor by tightening the nut with your hands. Using a drill or Phillips head screwdriver, secure the plate and motor together by tightening each screw. Using both hands, insert the screw through the plate, then insert the screw with the plate through the opening on the inside. Secure the cover plate with the fan motor by tightening the nut with your hands. Use the 3 8 nut driver 
to tighten down the nut at the top. Once the plate and new motor are secure, plug the new cooling fan motor to the opening connector you had disconnected from it previously. Install the exterior side and the exterior top of the unit once you have completed the cooling fan installation. Tighten each screw on the left and right side of the exterior panel. And then tighten down the three screws on the left and right side of the top exterior.